Hi, Dana Perwitz, physical therapist, Mercy Health Run Clinic. So let's talk about uh, choosing a daily trainer. Um, we've got several neutral options and several of the stability products here. If you look at this shoe versus any of the other ones, each one of them has a different EVA, so a different midsole. So that is very individual on what you feel um, is right for your foot. And the only way to figure that out is to hop on the treadmill and take a run in them because running gait and walking gait are two different things. So you might try it on in the store and it might feel great walking around, but you're not going to know if that's the right shoe for you until you really get on the treadmill and run or get out and run in it. Uh, you want to look at the torsional rigidity of a shoe and so that you can't twist it and curl it up like this. So if you look at the, the running shoes, you can't do any of that, okay? And the, the um, folks at Dave's will help you figure out what shoe works best for you. The Brooks Ghost, that's the number one seller out there because it has a great first fit feel. So this is a 10 millimeter drop shoe. If we look at the drop of a shoe, you're looking from heel to toe. You can fit 10 dimes between the drop of the heel to the toe. Um, that feels great to a lot of people. Um, and then you have the Saucony Ride, another neutral shoe. This is gonna be an eight millimeter drop. Then you have the New Balance 880s. These are also a 10 millimeter drop shoe. Uh, they have the Fresh Foam X. Um, they've changed the Fresh Foam over time in, um, in the New Balance. These are a little, um, it's soft and cushiony, but it kind of snaps back a little bit. Um, so that has a nice feel to it too. Jeff had talked about the, the Beacon being a racing shoe. Um, with New Balance's change in their Fresh Foam to an X, these also hold up well for training. Um, and these are a little lower drop, though these are a six millimeter drop. So now uh, let's talk about the stability shoes that are available, the Brooks Adrenaline. So if you're a person that over pronates, um, then you use a little bit more stability on the inside of the shoe. Um, and each one of these is built up a little bit more to help you not over pronate or roll your foot in too much. So the Brooks Adrenaline is one option. The Saucony Guide is another option. The um, New Balance 860s are another option, and they've added the fresh foam to this one too, whereas they didn't have that before, so it gives you a little bit more cushion on that one too if you're one that, that is looking for a little bit of cushion. There's also the Saucony Echelon. Um, this is a neutral shoe, but it has a lot of the features of a stability shoe, being that it has a very straight last to it. So if you look at the bottom of a shoe, you'll see this is a more straight last versus another shoe that is a little bit more curved lasted. So when you're looking at the last of a shoe, um, you look at the, the center of the shoe, you know, if it's not very wide here, on those uh, longer runs when you're getting a little bit more fatigued and you're looking for a shoe to help you out a little bit more, um, you maybe don't want a shoe that's very curve lasted. All of these are a semi curve last. Some of them um, have a little more curve to them than others. So, you know, kind of keep that in mind as you're running on the treadmill. What does it feel like? You know, is it comfortable for you? Maybe you're fatigued a little bit um, on your run and you feel something different. Um, is that the time where you need to maybe explore another trainer for yourself for, for long runs versus the shorter runs? Hope that information was helpful. See you at the Dave's training program and see you at the finish line.